I know. You read what you had on? I got one, but yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. I'm talking about how you... Jeremiah 1 and 5. Yeah. Before I formed thee I, in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. That's the literal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You got it? Keep on, bro. I'll read it. Uh, verse 6. Then said I, I, Lord, power, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said. So there's nothing in what the Lord did. And I think in the uh, later books that Paul was writing, he was saying, the Lord is going to make up the difference for you. Where you're weak, he's going to step mm -hmm. in and use his power to make you uh, on the level. Trying. The account of uh, Moses, and when he said, uh, I am of. Uh, Slow speech, you know, and the Lord say, "Who have who have formed the, who have framed or formed the mouth?" You know. I got you. Basically. Yep. But the Lord said unto me, "Say not, I am a child, for thou shall go to to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their face, for I am with thee to deliver thee," saith the Lord. Then the Lord, Yahweh, put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, <clears throat> I have put my words in thy mouth. So the words that we speak, we prophesy, it's the Lord really speaking through us. Yeah. You know, it, it's, he's, you know, we, some, like sometimes I tell the brothers, I'll be saying something and I don't even remember what the hell I just said, five yeah. minutes. <laughs> God, you five minutes, but, but, else be like, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I didn't see brothers do that, and like, yeah. you know. But that's just the spirit of the Lord speaking through us. These are not our words. When we break down these scriptures, it's not like I always say, it ain't our truth. You know, these 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 some of these Israelite leaders, man, they act like it's their truth. They yep. I got the breakdown and I broke this down and like no. You would give the all the all the glory to the Heavenly Father and it's through his son. Come. Like, notice how it said he touched his lips. Yeah. What other prophet did that happen to? Uh, you said who? Isaiah. Isaiah. He touched his lips. Meaning the Lord pretty much supped with him. Yeah. You know, he the, the Lord, you know, opened him up, you know, with the with, of course with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And when he went out there to, to, to actually speak, it was like the Lord was speaking speaking through him. We know the Lord, you know, he, he does things. In, in a very meticulous uh, fashion. Right. So Jeremiah and Isaiah. So that means that the prophets, before they go out there and speak, the Lord pretty much, you know, works with them. Yeah. You know, yeah. he works with you. You might not recognize it, but he is. Yeah. Before you know it, you just you, you out there. The Lord just gotta. He gotta. He gotta. You know, whatever. Is, is, was, was brought in. If it's defiling, he cleanses it out first. Mm -hmm. Clean, he clean it out. You know, we had to learn all the bullshit of this world that corrupted our minds before we fully got acquainted with this. Yeah. And, and here, and just you know, to say it this way, a lot of times it's a dangerous situation that that you know that'll set you up like, oh, okay, let me. Forget about all that BS and let me just focus on this. Cause that fear will come over you and put you in a fearful situation. Right. You know, right before you, uh, you wake up to it. Just to show you how real it can really be. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. As like us today, um, breaking down these strongholds, yep. uh, you know, that, you know, some of our people. Before it sends the prophets out, man, that's, that's when that kingdom is going down, it's proving its power. All right. I got another precept to, to back up. Uh, this one. Uh, Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High, who at sun-dry times and diverse manners spake in past times unto the fathers by the prophets. 
Right. It's always speaking, you know, through the prophets. Yep. Ever since the uh, garden, yeah. it was the first chapter. Yeah. The prophets were in the garden. Adam and Eve went off. Yeah. As soon as Adam. Gave down the judgment to, uh, you know, for uh, Eve to have uh, birth pains when she gives birth to a child. You know, the prophets tell us, hey, this is going to happen to you. you know? Adam, you're going uh, to you till the ground. You're going to sweat. Sweat going to come out your brow. You're going to work. <laughs> you're going to work to survive. Man. You know, that was all judgment handed down through the most high through his prophets. Man. Yep. I can read this. He had in, he had had in these days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom he also by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and expressing express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had him, when he when he had by himself purged our sin sat on the right hand of the majesty on high. That shows you the preeminence of Yahweh Shai is so preeminent that like like yo like I, I just got damn near speechless. Yeah, yeah like, you can't even put in the words. You can't even put it in the words. Yeah, yeah. Revelation 5 bro. Yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. Four, the four and twenty elders bowing down, and him on the throne. Like people don't realize, Yahusha got. He's not, of course, he's not powerful in the Most High, but he has the power of the Most High. In he's gonna be, you know, in, in flesh, you know, on on earth, ruling. You know, just the you don't be people don't realize can't fathom the the power that Yahusha is given by by his father, the Most High. It's, it's heavy. Like 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 that. Um, I think the part where it said, uh, it says, uh, verse, uh, I think, yeah, three. Yeah, verse three. Read verse three again. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. Upholding, when, upholding all things by the word of his power. You know, like, like that shows you the, the, the level of, uh, of power and majesty that he has, you know, sitting on the right hand of the Most High. Like, he's he's the second authority yeah. right after the Most High yeah. of all things. <laughs> so people talk a lot of shit and deny him or say, you know, blasphemous things about him. You don't even realize who you're speaking against. Yeah. You know, you're subject to what he speaks. Yeah. You know? Upholding things by the word of his power. The Lord, he showed examples of that when when it was on the uh, when, when it was on the, uh, was it the Sea of Galilee or was it the uh, so river even, even River the Jordan? Sea obey, yeah. yeah, he just he told the, the, the oh, sea. The, yeah, the he said that the, the, uh, yeah. uh, basically be still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he calmed the calm. waters. Be still. He woke in, is that when he was asleep? And everyone was panicking. Yeah, and he woke up and he's like, you little faith. Yeah. Yeah. He woke him up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he told the winds to just, hey, calm down. Yeah. 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 And then it just calmed down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bro. Stupid nigga. What'd you say? Uh, my... How's he done blemish lamb then? Yeah. He, yeah, he said when it was 12. About my father's death. <laughs> yeah, he said yeah, when he became a He was asking questions in the, yeah, in the, in the, in the synagogue. In the synagogue. And the reasoning of, of the young child. Yeah. That was pleasing in, in a father's sight when yeah. he did. He was born in the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how he's not going to be about the ministry? Showing on the level of a, of, a, of a doctor in the law, the lawyers and the doctors, and he's only 12 years old. Yeah. So I'll let you know that he, this, this, like it says in Isaiah 11 chapter, that he would uh, he would be of a, a, a quickening spirit. You know, the spirit of the Father, the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and he would be of a quickening uh, a, a spirit, man. So he knew all things from the beginning. Yeah. Isn't it written that the book is not able to contain yeah. all the things he did? Yeah, exactly. And there's something about, there's something about Judites, you can see it, particularly in Yahweh Shai, how he would just break things down simply and just make it plain for you. Like, these were hard and dark sayings before, but once he came to the scene, he made it nice and easy to be understood. You know, some things he would throw parables because he didn't want to get, but when he broke it down to the rest of the people, it was easy. Mm -hmm. You see it plain and easy. You know, because your mind can't be defiled to understand. Y'all got something? Uh, Isaiah 11, yep. and 1, read down. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. Let me, let me, yeah, in, the verse, in verse one, in verse one, the word branch is, is capitalized. Right. Because we know, you know, he's talking about Yahweh Shai, we know who that is. Yep. Verse three, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and remove the equity of the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Hey, and like going back to like, I think that was the second or third verse where it says that he will, uh, he will now reprove after uh, his right. eyes or that's something like that. The third verse. The third yeah. verse. Even the even the wicked scribes and Pharisees made that observation about them. Yeah. When they were trying to um, have little counsels on how they could try to trip them up in his speech and tangle them in, in his words, and when they would come to him, they were like, "We know that you are one that you, you, you don't judge after the appearance of man. You don't yeah. like they, 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 they and that's the prophecy said that about him. Yeah. Matter of fact, read verse 3 again, and then somebody get Matthew 2 and uh, 15. Isaiah 11 and 3, and shall make him quick, of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Now get that at uh, Matthew 22 and uh, 15. 15? Matthew 22 verse 15. It says, uh, then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. And they sent out unto, them, unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, uh, for thou regardest not the person of men. Tell us so he, uh, basically, uh, he's not reproving after what he, after, like it says in uh, Isaiah 11. Yeah. You know, he no respect to a person. He was, he was, the, he, he was the same right of, all across the board, man, straight down the middle. You know, he judged with, with equity. He didn't talk one way with the with the rich, and then, you know, treat the, the, the poor uh, uh, a different way. Kind of how Paul checked Peter. Yeah. About that. Yeah. 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 Know? That's just how he was. That was that was his that was his character. So so so, how the hell could you say that the Lord was out of order? 